Sticking with the topic of train games, up next we've got a look at some 18 cash and 18 shares from Mercury Games. Before we take a look at these 18xx upgrades, we want to thank Mercury for sending us these prototypes to check out. All right, so what I've got here is a small sample set of 18 cash and 18 shared chips. These were designed by Mercury Games, actually the owner of the company, and were created as a deluxe component upgrade for fans of 18xx style train games. Now, what we have here are two different types of high quality ceramic grade chips meant to replace either the money or the stocks in your favorite 18xx game. Now, these are currently being funded on Kickstarter right now, are not expected to ever be available in retail. Though Mercury has noted that if these are successful, they may consider putting out more sets, featuring other companies and making them compatible for other 18x team games. Now, if you're seeing this live right now, you've got five <laughs> days left to jump on this. Sadly, the Kickstarter will be over by the time this podcast is released. Yeah, I didn't realize it was live now. I feel a little bad getting this out later than I expected. They were cool with it. They, they, they were expecting me to have it done before the Kickstarter, but I didn't realize it was live. So I do feel bad about that. Now, I will admit, disappointing to see today is I did hit over on the Kickstarter to look up some information, and they aren't actually all that close to funding. So I will admit there is a good chance they may relaunch once there's a bit more press out there, like, for example, this review. So I want to start off by talking about 8 cash. So first of all, the name, 18xx games tend to be 1830, 1840, 18 Chesapeake, right? So they're right, going along with that theme. So what they're calling these are 18 cash. Now, a full set of these is 400 chips, 39 millimeter uh, diameter, 3.5 gram weight, weight, ceramic grade chips made specifically for 18x games, 18xx games, sorry, featuring iconic engine artwork. So I'm telling like like train engines. Now the count of these is 400 and where denominations they are is based on the most popular bank sizes in 18xx games. And one of the most common is you start the game at the $9,000 bank and the full set of coins is designed. So you just pull out certain denominations and you get that bank instantly. You got your 9,000. So quick to set up. Now, if you keep all the coins in, the total possible bank with one set of chips equals to $67,000. Now, they also offer an add-in for a special $67 chip, which if you're an 18xx fan, you're probably sitting there smiling and knowing exactly what we're talking about. I am not that big an 18xx fan, despite liking the series of games. I don't get the 67 chip myself, but I'm sure you fans do. Now, Mercury sent me one of these chips, and I got to say, this is nice. Uh, the weight, uh, the significant, like the feeling in your hand is great. Uh, the texture of them, so they don't slide. It's not slippery. It's somewhat textured is nice. Um, the art, I really dig. I, I think that's a great look on the artwork, though I will admit I was a little disappointed the art doesn't line up on both sides. I don't know if that's because these are prototypes or not, if that's something that's not going to change or if it just doesn't matter, which I admit, really, it doesn't. But just personally, I'm like, I wish they were the same on both sides. Um, this is printed right on the chip, so there's no chance of a sticker stealing or anything to pop out. And I, I got to say, this will fit great for, for any train game. Like, that look just looks like a train on it. And I really dig how well the number shows up. The rolling edge is rounded slightly. And features the denomination on the side as well as some color-coded bars to tell them apart especially for anyone who's colorblind that and again note this is a prototype and what i have been told is they've upped the contrast on all of these compared to the copies i have so to make everything pop a little bit more so these are definitely pretty niche items for 18xx fans real fans the folks who are regulars at train game tournaments uh, if you don't know why you'd want a $67 coin, you really probably aren't in the market for these. Yeah, very true. Now, one thing I can't help but do is to compare these with the Iron Clays from Roxley Games, uh, my set, which came from the Brass Kickstarter a couple of years ago. Now, taking a look at the $5 coin from my Iron Clays and comparing it to this $5 coin, the size and diameter thickness is identical. So the exact same size. Now, the 18 coin is just slightly heavier. Uh, when I looked it up, it's actually 0.5 grams heavier than the iron clay. Now, the artwork on the 18 coin definitely sticks out. 
And I really read how much easier it is to see the denomination in particular, to see that five on my five chip right here. And I do like the look of this for a train game, but the iron clay, I appreciate that it's generic because I can throw that in a non-train game and it's going to be going to be, whereas if I throw, throw the, the 18 share or sorry, 18 coins chip in a non-train game, it might be a little odd because you're using coins with trains on them to buy old power plants, for example. Wow. Now, where I actually really like on the 18 coin is the fact that the denomination is on the, the edge of the coin. Now, to be fair, I think most people will get used to the color and know mm -hmm. that color X is value Y. But until you get there, or especially if you're playing with multiple different people all the time, those edges are a nice touch. Now, this comparison now leads me to price. Um, these monetary replacement coins are not cheap. Not cheap at all. And I'm talking both sets here. Now, for the 18 cash set, you are looking at $440 Canadian for a full set. That's not cheap. Now, here's where I need to point out that this is a luxury item. You don't need this to play any of these games. And not only that, it's a luxury item for a niche of a niche segment of the board game community. And that's a segment that is used to paying heirloom prices for small print run train games that are hard to get a hold of and are often ordered directly from the developers and the people who make them. So I honestly don't think this price is at all unreasonable, but that is a big chunk of change for a bunch of chips. I admit it makes me balk, but then I'm 100% not the market for this product. Yes. And I'm not going to, because we're looking at these coins and not these coins, I'm not going to tell you how much these cost, but I will say they are in the same range. Now, moving on to the 18 shares. Well, I think these coins are cool. Like, that's neat. The real highlight of this Kickstarter to me are the shares, the 18 shares. This is a totally new product, not a replacement for using poker chips during your game. This is something new for 18XS games. These chips are going to feature 40 of the most used companies from all 18XX games. Again, these are ceramic grade, but these are 47 millimeters wide, and the weight's up to 12.5 grams, significantly heavier than the other ones. They feature edge-to-edge -edge Victorian era graphics uh, that happen to come from a legendary poker chip designer, J5 Design. Now, these graphics, again, are printed right on the chips. They're not stickers. They're not inlays. Now, what these do is they replace the paper or cardboard shares in your 18x game completely. There are two types of chips for each company, which I actually don't have two of the same, but there are 10% shares and 20% president chips for each company. And the number of shares match the current amount of shares in standard 18XX game cycle. They do vary. It's not necessarily the same number of chips for every company. Now added to this, um, what I like about this is, is, is they make it easier for all players to, play able to see the holdings of the other players. Because one of the things they've also done is besides having unique face artwork, the, again, the running edge has a series of dots, dot, dot, if it's a 10% share and it has the company name on the side. And what that means is you can easily look across the table to see the holdings of other players and how much stock is still in them. Still, And it eliminates ever having to go, hey, so how much stock do you have in Pennsylvania? Or getting up to look at everyone's stocks and trying to judge how thick a stack of cards are. Um, this is just a great improvement to a stack of cards on a table. Plus, don't they look cool? Like, isn't that way cool than having a bunch of slip bunch of paper everywhere? Yeah, yeah. these I get. Uh, despite the fact that, again, I'm not in the market for this, these make sense. And uh, as well as making sense game, from a gameplay standpoint and a speeding up the game standpoint, they're a beautiful addition to the game. Mm -hmm. So I think this is one thing where if you are into an 18xx game, it actually makes a lot of sense to buy in on the shares if you can afford it. <laughs> yes. So what Mercury Games did is sent me a small stack of these. So this is a mix of standard shares and president shares. And these are nice. Like, 
you can, I'm showing them off, showing them off here, I'm listening, I apologize, you just have to take my word for it, but these are really, really quality, these are nice, these are some of the nicest chips I have ever held in my hands, the weight increase over the 18 um, coins and the, the iron clays is significant, the, these are heavier, and they just feel great in your hand, and they've got a really nice solid clack that's a little louder than your standard poker chip, uh, the artwork is nice and striking and functional because it features the company logo in the middle, surrounded by the company name on the outside, which is something I could always put up with because I always forget what PR and R actually stands for. Um, it does note if uh, the share value, so you've got your 10% share or your presidential shares, which are 20%, is highlighted on, on, the, on, and that's also denoted on the side. So you will see one dot on non-presidential shares and two dots on presidential shares. And they also did the um, name of the company, the short form for the company in reverse text on the president's shares as well. So this should be very easily able to see across the table, uh, especially if I spell the system, the presidential chip will always be on the top. That's all, the president's always on top. So it's gonna be really easy to look over and see if someone has the the highlighted or the double dots on the top of their stacks. Uh, additionally, the, the Kickstarter points out, and again, neither of us are really experts at 18XX games, but paying dividends becomes easier with this stacking system. Uh, and you can, if you've got both the coin, 18 coin and the 18 shares, you're, you can drop your coins out on your, on, on your 18 share, 18 coins mm -hmm. on top of your 18 shares real quick and easily to uh, calculate your payouts for yep. dividends. So now again, these are prototypes. And as I mentioned with the coins, the same thing, Mercury has made some contrast and readability improvements on them. So, um, one of the big ones is to make the dots bigger and stand out more. So they'll be even a little bigger to clear across. So what I'm gonna do, um, again, I apologize for anyone listening to this on the podcast, but I'm gonna go through the prototypes I got here and just show off each one so we can quickly see them. Now they are the same on both sides and I do have the same complaint as with the coins. So they don't um, line up on both sides. That's something personal pet peeve. Um, again, may have been one of the improvements. So I'm going to start off with the Pennsylvania Railroad Company and Comp Green Chip logo in the middle. This is a standard share, not a uh, presidential share. Then we have the Canadian Pacific Railway. Again, the colors here are also based on 18XX standards. We have the Canadian Government Railways, which has one of the most boring logos ever, but that's kind of what they did in the 1800s. Then we have the Missouri Pacific Railroad. This one's a little harder to see. This is where I think that increase in contrast is really nice. We have the Texas Pacific Railway, which is the most gothic of the companies, as far as I can tell, <laughs> based on the colors again. Then I have the Wellington Gray and Bruce Rail, which is uh, one of the more famous ones. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm jumping. I'm sorry. I have sorry. The Baltimore and or or oh yeah, Baltimore and Ohio. Uh, this is one I instantly recognize from 18x. B and O is in all of them. Uh, I have heard many 18xx jokes about the B and O company, as well as making some derogatory comments about the cleanliness of gamers. Don't appreciate those. So this is the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Company. Then we have the Wellington Gray and Bruce. And then this one is the presidential coin. So this is actually a 20% share. You can see it says president at the top here. And again, it's got the, the two dots and the different edge here. And then I have two more presidentials. We have the Boston and Maine Railroad Company. And Norfolk and Western is the final chip I was sent to check out. So in a full set, you are looking at 40 different companies not just the small pile I have here and multiple shares for each company. Well, and it's actually interesting. Uh, they've, they've broken it out in a, in a very 18XX manner uh, by, by looking at all the different 18XX games and trying to save you the most money mm -hmm. so that if you want to buy four multiple games, you buy the 18XX or 1830 set, yep. and then you add on uh, different sets depending on which other games you play mm -hmm. or would like to play. So if you play 1867, you would buy the 1830 and the 1867 add-on uh, and have enough uh, enough of all the proper shares for your 1867, and mm -hmm. you would also have 
enough shares for a couple of other games because of the overlaps between the 18xx they did a lot of research in Mm -hmm. the design and coloring of these shares i must say that uh if you do want the full 18 share set it is 370 shares Um, oh the oh different shares yes yes so so your 1830 set so the basic price for the 1830 set so that's um is 186 canadian that's for that's all the shares covering a large number of 18xx games including but mainly 1830 so the stuff for that um but if you want everything if you want to go all in in, you want the chips to play their full range you're looking at 616 canadian but you're getting 40 different companies and as sean said 370 chips and again these are bigger heavier which is why the price point's a little higher you're getting less chips for more price and what i do want to point out is that kickstarter is great at explaining what you want Yes. If you have your favorite 18xx game, they they are very clear both in text and with charts and a flow chart on making sure you're getting just what you need. Yeah. Now again, that price point's not cheap, but I'm not going to get into all the luxury thing again. It's I think it's not unreasonable for what it is. Yeah, and I to me the shares are the one I would expect 18xx fans to jump on first. Mm-hmm. They make so much sense for the game. Even as someone who doesn't play, I can see the value in this. Whereas there are certainly arguments to make uh, if you've got some, you know, price uh, scare, you know, fear of, of some of the prices, you can use poker chips for money. But yes. again, for these companies, there's really no better alternative I've seen than this. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there is an alternative. As far as I understand, these are a brand new product that's never been brought to market before. Like this isn't... Um, um, mercury's version of these right. these this is the first thing of its sort so i gotta say um i'm impressed like both like, like these are nice chips um i if you price high-end poker chips and the price point here is not crazy these are not plastic with a piece of metal put in the middle and make them heavy these are ceramic grade chips now i do dig the the cash and how it's themed i and i do like that it gives you like the proper bank for your standard 18xx games the real highlight i agree with sean here are the shares these 18 shares are fantastic not only are they beautiful tactile they feel great in my hands they actually take steps to improve gameplay and speed up games and speeding up an 18xx game is great because they are some of the longest board games out there on the market and i gotta say i love even like when we talk about box inserts what i like is anything that actually makes the game better not just makes me organize the game better this is something that actually improves gameplay as well as being a cool upgrade and looks awesome if you're an 18xx gamer check these chipsets out hopefully you can hit it in time if not, beg Mercury, see if they'll do another Kickstarter, see if they'll, they'll put them out to market. Uh, they're really good people. I've been in contact with them for the last couple of weeks. I'm um, also checking out some other games of theirs. Uh, get these out there. These are fantastic. All right, well, that's it for our look at the 18 coins and 18 shares chips for your 18xx games. Find more of our reviews at tabletopbellhop.com or right here on YouTube.